But ever since that U.S. Supreme Court decision, we've tried to find out what restrictions, if any, Governor Reynolds would support, and she has declined to say specifically. Now, since then, she has asked the court to take another look at the Republican fetal heartbeat bill that was passed back in 2018. A district judge had blocked it from taking effect in 2019. I talked with the governor during our conversation at the Iowa State Fair last week about her views on abortion rights. I think they got it wrong years ago when they ruled on the Supreme Court ruled on Roe v. Wade. But, you know, so right now we passed a bill. It went through the process, the heartbeat bill with exceptions. We got that passed. It was stopped. You know, they filed an injunction against it. And so right now I, we're, we're using the, the legal. And that was before the Supreme that Court That was decision. before, right. And so, so we've been in the process of looking at ways that we can challenge that through the courts. That's our recourse. And so that's what we're doing right now. We're asking. Uh, them to uh, take another look at that and rule and if it, rule if it's right to lift the injunction is what we're asking them to do and so we'll wait until we work through that process and then we'll see where we go next but you know we're it's that's that's the process that we have that's the path that we're taking right now and it would be you know kind of irresponsible for me to look at other things until we see where the courts land with this decision because that'll really have a bearing on what we do next and by that you mean you don't want to weigh in on whether there should be exceptions no, or what the I, term should be no we're going to wait and see because we passed the law it went through the process it got put on hold we're asking the courts to revisit that we'll wait and see what they do with that injunction and that will then we'll decide what the next steps are but that's the process that we're in right now so that fetal heartbeat bill would ban nearly all abortions after doctors can detect a heartbeat, which is usually somewhere around six weeks of pregnancy. The fetal heartbeat bill does provide some exceptions that include rape, incest, life of the mother, or if the baby would likely not survive because of abnormality. So the governor is pushing to try to get that taken into effect here, that fetal heartbeat bill. At this point, not saying what restrictions she would support. So the issue front and center now, we expect that to be the case in November as well, because this could be really an issue that we see in the ballot box. For sure. And we've asked the Democrat running for governor here, Deidre DeGere. Now, she opposes the fetal heartbeat bill, and she disagreed with the U.S. Supreme Court decision that overturned Roe versus Wade. She also is not specifically saying something when it comes to abortion rights here, where the threshold would be, saying that she doesn't want the focus to be on numbers at this point. As it's being decided, not just at the ballot box, but then also through the court system, there is kind of that fine line that we see our politicians walking at this point, Dave. Yeah, and this is definitely something people have always had views on this, right? But because of the increased focus that, that this issue now has following that U.S. Supreme Court decision, you do see this come up a lot more when you go to political rallies. People are talking about it more. I think people outside of rallies, just in their everyday lives, were talking about this. You saw that case in Ohio where there was a 10-year-old girl that was raped and then traveled out of state to try and successfully to get that abortion out of there. That really brought this to the forefront for a lot of people talking specifically where restrictions should lie. And now you see how states have a lot uh, different policies and now new laws because states have that ability then to establish the law since that U.S. Supreme Court decision overturned Roe versus Wade. So you can expect to have a lot more of these conversations in our state and in a lot of other states because of what's happened here. Yeah, we're definitely seeing that conversation. And like you mentioned, there's a variety of viewpoints, not only between the parties, but within the parties themselves. For sure. And it's not a black and white issue for a lot of people. And some people might, for example, not not believe in abortion rights for their circumstance, but they want that option in certain cases. Some people it's far more restrictive. Some people don't want it at all. And this is definitely something that voters you would expect will be asking these politicians as we move toward that November election. All right, an issue that, like we said, isn't going anywhere for a long time. Thanks a lot.